Despite Thinkorswim being a platform mainly geared towards active traders, it still has at least some financial data that we can then use and hopefully make better decisions about our investments. So today we're going to be diving into a custom script to display 21 different financial ratios directly on our chart. Now the 21 custom labels that we'll be adding in today's video could actually be added individually. However, today I've actually got them all wrapped up into a single script. In my case, I of course already have it loaded into my own Thinkorswim platform, but for you to add it for yourselves, you will simply need to go down to the link down below this video, and clicking that will actually take you directly to my website where we can see the full written script right here, which you could then copy and then load into your own platform. But to make things easier on yourself, I would probably just recommend you come up here above where you can see a little HTTP link, and all you have to do is copy that link. So we'll go ahead and right click on it, then hit copy. We can then head back over to the Thinkorswim platform and open it as a shared item. And to do that, we would simply come up here to the setup menu, then come down here below and select open shared item. That'll create a little open shared item pop-up window over here on the left, where we will simply click in this little search box and hit control V to paste in that link. Then coming over here to the right, we can actually preview the script. You can see right here, it is called the fundamental script and you can see who sent it to you, short the strike. And then the final thing to do is just come down here below and hit import, which will then load it directly into your platform. Now in my case, I already have it. So I'm just gonna come over here and hit cancel. And now to see it on our charts, we would simply come up here to the very top to the studies icon. Then within this little studies or strategies window, we're going to go ahead and search for it with this little search box right at the top here. Unless you change the name, it's going to be under the exact same name that I gave it, which is just fundamentals. And actually we can see it right down here below. And then in order to add it, we are simply going to click on it, then hit add selected in the lower left hand corner. We can then see over here on the right hand side, it has been added as an upper study, meaning it's actually going to display right on top of our chart. So we're going to see it right in the top left hand corner, right above the actual price of the underline. But now to actually see what that's going to look like, let's just come down here below to the lower right hand corner and hit OK. What you'll then immediately notice is that right up here at the very top of our chart, we've got a bunch of different labels up here. That'll include the PE ratio, the earnings per share, the free cash flow per share, the gross profit margin, the dividend yield, and the overall score for the company. Now, besides just displaying the data itself, you'll also know that it is color coded as well. Now, generally, if the label is a reddish pink color, we're not too happy with the value that we're seeing inside of there. Whereas the gray is going to show us that we're much more neutral on the figure being displayed. But then if it is instead a light green color, it's good, but not as good as it could be, which is where we would see the dark green come in handy. And then finally, which we can't see here every once in a while, you may also see a dark blue background as well, which kind of depends on the metric itself, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Now, if you ever decide to actually read through the code itself, you can see what each one of those color changes mean. And you could change that if you wanted to, or even just change the color itself. And obviously, if we were to flip this stock symbol to something else, like if we came up here to the upper left hand corner and were to throw in Apple up here instead, AAPL, we can now see that all of those informational labels have been adjusted down here below and are now specifically showing us the financial ratios for Apple. But looking up here, there are currently only five metrics visible plus the overall score. But remembering back for a second, if you remember, I did tell you we'd be adding 21 separate metrics to this chart. And currently, if we look here, there are only currently five plus the overall score. Now, we did actually load 21 separate financial ratios in this script. However, if you were to read through it, I actually set a bunch of those scripts to default to not visible unless we manually turn them on. For me personally, having 21 labels up here can be a little bit distracting. So for you to manually flip those other labels on, we will simply need to head back up here to the studies icon. Coming back down below and finding the fundamental study right here, we can then open up the settings menu by coming over here to the right and clicking on the little gear icon. Coming over here to the left hand side, we can actually see all of the different labels that are preloaded into this script. So here on the left, it shows display PE, display earnings per share, display free cash flow, and then over here on the right is a little toggle where you can flip it either to yes, which means I want to display it, or no, meaning I don't want to display it. 
If we actually wanted to turn on a few more of these financial ratios, let's just go through and turn on a few more just so we can see a few more of them on the chart. So I'm just flipping a bunch of these on to yes randomly. And if I were to scroll through here, you'll see there are actually quite a few of them. Like we said, there's 21 of them. But now that I've turned a few more to yes, we'll now come down here below and hit OK in the lower right hand corner. Then come over here and hit OK one more time. Coming back up here to the top, you can now see there are a bunch more labels now added to our chart up here, all of which pretty much speak for themselves. They're just labels displaying whatever that financial ratio happens to be. The only one that might not stand out here is the one called score. Now that financial score is essentially just looking at all of these financial metrics, assigning a score based on that, and then adding them all up together. So then depending on the score that then pops out, we can then try and get a quick look at the overall financial well-being or stability of the company. Now I'll admit I didn't make this score myself. It originally actually came from TradeStation, so please do your own digging into whether or not this actually makes sense for you, but it can be adjusted if you want to just going into the script itself. But essentially as it sits right now, the higher the score, the better. It'll be specifically scoring the company based on things like price to earnings, free cash flow, profit margin, sales, debt to assets, and overall leverage. The absolute lowest score being zero and the absolute highest being 15. But based on that number, it is definitely not a hard and fast rule on whether this is a good company or a bad company. It's fairly basic. But again, this custom script is a fantastic way to display some really important fundamental data about that company you're about to trade, and hopefully you end up finding it useful as well. I have made many other videos on Thinkorsim at this point, so consider checking this one out next. You might find it helpful as well. Otherwise, have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one.